A big thank you to the guys at We Are Stoke for sponsoring my match day vlogs throughout the season. For all the latest Stoke City news, be sure to check them out on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description. Hey up guys, I'm the SS here and tonight it's a huge, huge game. It's West Brom at home. West Brom obviously sit first, Stoke sit fifth after that midweek one all draw with Preston at Deepdale. A great, great move um, that got Nick Powell the goal and then obviously we're conceding another screamer. So hopefully uh, Alex Mowat can keep his um, good goals in his shoes for another day. We've made two changes for this one. James Chester comes in for Leo Ostergaard and then obviously Joe Allen replaces Romain Sawyers who can't play against his parent club. I've been so nervous all day. I still don't know how it's going to go, but if I was going to give a prediction, I've got to be optimistic. I'll go for a one all draw. I'll, I'll take a draw tonight in front of the Sky cameras. Obviously, as you know, our record on Sky is appalling. So a draw I'd, I'd be buzzing with. Uh, to get the goal, I'm going to go with Jacob Brown, actually. Um, I've got a feeling on him. But uh, yeah, let's get into the ground. Come on, Stoke. So it's half time, nil nil. We'll start off with um, the first big chance of the game. Jacob Brown, 18 yards out, tried to roll it past Johnston, hits the post. Joe Allen has a good chance, and moments later, uh, and puts it just wide. Going on, it wasn't. It, I don't think it's been the best game. It's been sort of a bit slow at times. One touch taken too many, just that final ball sometimes. Um, but then obviously towards the end of the half. We had a goal disallowed. From where I saw it, it looked like Francic turned. Um, the player, the defender, the defender fell over. Nothing to do with Francic. Um, and then the ball bounces off Furlong's head, um, past Johnston, 
and into the goal. And I thought it was in. I, I still think it should be given. From what I've seen, I haven't seen the replay, but from where it looked for me, it looked like it was in. Let's get into the second half. I've got a feeling this is going one goal either way. I'm still so, so unsure. But yeah, come on, Stoke. Yeah. 
Coming out the ground now, surrounded by some delighted, I don't think delighted actually sums it up, ecstatic soap fans. And my, my days. We, I think we thoroughly deserved it. We were unlucky obviously not to get that goal in the first half. Brown had that chance early on where he should have put it away. Surridge had the penalty and the chance before that that he should have put away. So there's no doubt that Stoke deserved to come out. Victors tonight, a wonderful goal from Nick Powell. He is on fire at the moment obviously had that cracking goal in midweek cracking goal against Hull that makes it 3-3 three and three for Powell since his return from injury and uh, I wouldn't bet him again I wouldn't bet against him scoring um, uh, against Sheffield United after the international break um, but I am very happy with that one beat top of the league what a game what a performance I am I, I'm over the moon it's made my weekend before it's even got going but uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed this vlog, drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you guys. Um, I'll, I'll do a video in the international break, talking a little bit about what's next for Stoke, obviously the return of Campbell too, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys during the international break. Come on, Stoke!